Hey everyone, so I'm out today and we're doing essentially the same assignment as yesterday but in digital format. So here's, you're going to have a template like this. It has a horizon line and two vanishing points. You're free to change that. So if you want to move uh, any of those higher or lower, you can just select them all by putting a box around them and you can adjust those higher or lower. If you want to move the horizon uh, the vanishing points, you're also free to uh, move those around as you kind of see fit. So uh, it is just a template, just a place to get started. I'm going to kind of put it back to where I had it uh, in that kind of classic position of maybe a little above the middle. But okay, so uh, again, technically speaking, we're doing the exact same thing we did yesterday. We're going to start with the line tool, and we're going to start by drawing a... Uh, a vertical line. Remember to hold down the shift key and that'll let it snap into into place here. So this is going to be my street level uh, box. So there's my initial line. Um, and then once I do that line, I can start setting my my vanishing point lines. And these are going to be called construction lines. I'll make two of those. And then I'll make another two over there. Okay, so now I have my object line and my two vanishing, my vanishing point lines going to both vanishing points. Uh, now I can make another vertical line to pick how, uh, you know, how big I want the object. So. I'll do a vertical line over here. This is going to be my one side. I'll do another vertical line over here. I'm going to make this side a lot shorter. And again, I am using that hold down the shift key. And so there is our, there is my two point perspective for a street level view. I don't have to do the top or the bottom vanishing point lines because they're not visible. Um, so that's my quick two point perspective on that one. Let me show you how to color that or how to how to pick a light source and kind of color that. So let's go ahead and I'm going to insert image uh, a shape. I'm going to put a, a sun source. So I'm, I'm just going to show uh, my sun source is going to be down here for no good reason. So that's where my sun is going to be. Uh, and so if that's true, this is going to be white. And then this is probably going to be uh, the two. This is the one side. And then the top would be my three, but I can't see it. So we won't worry about that. To do uh, to shade these, we're going to use the polyline tool. So what I'm going to do is use all my all the lines I just set, again, I'm going to hold down that shift key to, to make a polyline shape. Uh, I'm holding down the shift key on the verticals. I'm not holding down the shift key when I do the sides. So that is the side of that one. This is going to be my one side. So I'm going to shade that one white. So that's my uh one side and then I'll do another polyline shape over here for my two. Let me escape that. Go to a polyline tool and so here's going to be my second polyline. Again I'm holding down that shift key on the vertical, letting up on the shift key here, back on the shift key here. And then the other thing I could do is if you're having trouble making these, the other kind of tip is I can do that uh, the zoom in let me I'm gonna finish this and then I'm gonna zoom in here uh, so I think that connected and this is gonna be my my light shade so that'll be my two uh, I did all that and it's probably fine but again the better thing to do would I could have zoomed in and made everything a lot easier so uh, again zoom in is control alt plus so let me use Control Alt Plus, and you can if you zoom in, and then you can, oops. So you can kind of look. What I can do is maybe hold down that Shift button to maybe merge these a little bit better, so that 
object line is kind of so that's a little better and then the last thing i can do is i can start deleting all the object lines i'm not using so then now i can go back and just select them and i'm just hitting the backspace to delete them and i'll be left with my oh don't don't delete that one so control there uh um, there's a little bit there's a small line right here there i did get it uh, there it goes. You can see this is a little bit, let me see. I can get rid of this line too and then move that back. I think I can get, there's a, th there, that's the line I want to get rid of. And I can get rid of this line too. And then I can go back and put that piece back. So that is my two point perspective cube at street level view with the construction lines taken out. So just like I would have erased, I've kind of erased those lines by shifting them around. So let's do that same process. I'm gonna zoom back out, control alt minus, will zoom you back out. Let's do another one below the horizon. So I'll do another one below. So we're gonna uh, change my line tool over to here so i'll make this one over here it's fine if i cover up my light source it's just a reminder i'm holding down that shift key so that's going to be my object line uh, i'll do the vanishing points going the vanishing point lines and you don't have to be super precise Okay, uh, and then I need to pick with vertical lines where I want this object to end. So let's let's go ahead and not have them overlap just to make it kind of straightforward. Again, hold down the shift key. That's going to be my vertical depth that way. This is going to be my vertical depth over here. So, and then I have to do, now I do have to do, I don't have to do any lines on the bottom, but I do have to do these lines this line to figure out where the top is going to kind of come in and then this line to figure out where that top kind of ends so this is a bird's eye view you're seeing the sides and the top my lines if i control alt plus and zoom in my lines aren't a hundred percent lining up which is okay uh what i'm going to do next is oops, escape and control z will get rid of something what i'm going to do next is I'm used to what's going on here. I want to drag. I can just use the bars here. Uh, so what I'm going to do next is my polyline. So on a polyline, this is going to be my one side. This is going to be my two side, and that's going to be my three side. So now I'll go ahead and do uh, the polyline tool. And I'm going to use my, my original lines as, the, as a guide. Hey hold down that shift key oh, and, and then don't hold the shift key here and it's okay if you if you don't match it a hundred percent okay so that's going to be my white side uh, this one over here is going to be my two side And again, you can see I'm gonna I'm gonna match my line actually is a little bit off, so I'm gonna match I'm gonna match it a little bit better. Okay, and then this is gonna be my two side, and I think I was using a gray. That's a little bit darker than I was using. Let's go back to that. So those two should match up. And then the last one is I'll, I'll do a polyline shape on the top. And that is going to be my final one. Again, you don't have to exactly match your lines. You're just using them as a guide. And I could zoom in more, but I think we're going to be okay. All right, so that's, and then that one, I'm going to fill a little bit darker. So I'm at kind of that one, two, three, four, five over. I'm going to make it two shades darker. 
and that's going to be that one. The last step here, I'm going to escape out of my polyline tool and I'll start deleting my construction lines again. So that one can drop out, that one can drop out, that can drop out, that can drop out, that, that. Okay, and then now I have these, it looks just kind of funky where I have my construction, my object lines, but they don't line up to my box lines. So what I can do is try to, I mean, I could, there, so I selected that one, that one's gone. I selected this one, this one's gone. I selected this one, nope, that's my side. I can move my side and then I can put it back here in a second. Delete that line and then I'll put that back. So now you can still see things are a little bit mismatched right here. So let's zoom in again and let's see what we can do to make this line all of these corner points all line up. So what I can do is go back to my polyline shape and I can try to extend it so that it touches that. And now it looks like that one little change seemed to line up that quarter. Same thing over here. This one's a little bit mismatched. So I'm just going to go a little bit back. And now that's pretty good. It's a little bit over, a little bit over, so I can do a little more adjusting. I can try to scale this back a smidge. What is going on here? Oh, not that far. Let's try to, let me see if I can scale that. Yeah, let me, hey, bitch. This is, no, oh, there, yeah. Let's, so I moved it, let me, so I'm using the shift and I'm moving it now. So that looks, better so uh, trying to resize it wasn't super successful but shifting it the last corner i can fix is this one in the back and again zooming in is kind of your magic your magic thing so again now i can adjust this corner and make it kind of fit uh that's a, it's better i'll just do one more adjustment all right so now that corner looks good now i can start zooming back out so Control alt minus to start zooming back out. Now that shape, all the corners are matching pretty good. I can finish zooming all the way out. And when I zoom all the way out, now I have two nice three point perspective boxes using those polyline uh, fills with a one, two, three shading. So spend a little extra time, uh, use that control alt plus to zoom in so I'll put a little text box over here so the big my big tips are let me insert a text box here so my tips are uh, use control plus alt plus uh, the plus key I'll just put the plus key key uh, to zoom in and uh, and align your polyline uh, shapes, and then the other one, uh, you know, you can use the plus key or you can use the minus key to kind of negotiate around. The other one is uh, use polyline uh, shapes for one, two, three shading. And I'll grab a quick little picture of that polyline tool. So that's the polyline tool. Let me grab a quick screenshot, maybe. I'll grab a screenshot of that later. So that's a uh, use polyline shape for that. And then again, you'll eventually do, you'll make five, you'll eventually make, hey, you'll do five boxes uh, with uh, one above, one at the horizon, and then one below, and then the other two are your choice. Uh, you can add things. You can add uh, things like holes or stacking or other geometric shapes. So if you try that, uh, that's a bonus. You wouldn't have to do all five. If you did some fancier stuff, you could uh, do that. And then you don't have to use, well, if you want to play around with shading colors too, uh, everything's fairly flexible. So give that a, a shot. 
I'll go ahead and get this text block as your tips on the side. I'll, when you see this template, the video will be on this side and then uh, the tips will be over here. So good luck on that today. I'm out. I'll be back tomorrow. Concert was great and have a good rest of your day, guys. Bye.